ericmwadithmother.com. Let's take a look at the chart for X and ET. And we can take a look at this from multiple points of view. The first one is to go and take a look at where this movement began. Recently, we can see a very strong move, obviously, here. Now, this is consistent with our minimum requirements, where we see that the RSI breaks out to all-time highs. As we can see here, RSI jumps to all-time highs, which corresponds with this breakout. Actually, it is this breakout here. This breakout right there corresponds with your RSI jumping to all-time highs, which is one of our minimum requirements. Three years, if the stock has been trading longer, but definitely all-time highs is way better than three-year highs. And we can see also that during that time frame, we have the MACDs moving to three-year highs, in this case, all-time highs. So we only need one of the MACDs to break out to three-year highs, and here we can see both MACDs break out to all-time highs. So definitely meets the minimum requirements for our ultimate Mwade breakout. There should be a link in the description of the video explaining this in detail. I should also point out, take a look at what happens here when the RSI jumps above 69.1 for the first time ever. It captures this explosive move here that moved the stock from 9 to about 27 within that month when the RSI jumped above 69.1. We can also take a look at what happened on the weekly chart here when the RSI jumped above 69.1. The stock had a positive bias, in fact a huge run up, while the RSI stayed above 69.1. It's only after the RSI moves back below 69.1 that we get this drop. Now something else here that I would like to mention is if you take a look at how the RSI was behaving here, so there is this price movement, RSI breaks out, corresponds with that weekly entry level there. Now you take that information, that breakout, and draw a straight line from here. Should be something like that. Now you can see that the stock came back and tested this line with the double bottom support that gave us the weekly closing low there and the weekly closing low there. That double bottom support has since been the catalyst for this recovery leg. So I call this principle the uniformity principle. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video explaining this method. Let's take a look at the daily to show you that the daily has come into a challenging spot around the $20 price range for those who are swing trading this instrument. On the daily, we can see that right now, after hitting this level here, it seems to be pulling back day to day. And I believe the reason is because the RSI is coming back to backtest this line here. So this line was support, as you can see here. And then it was broken during this plunge. The stock has come back to test the line. And as long as this line is offering short-term resistance, we know that this is where it struggles. In other words, what I'm trying to say here is the more this is confirmed as resistance, the more the next meaningful swing trade is to the downside. On the other hand, if the stock is to go higher, the first order of business would be to take out the blue line. So that's how you can swing trade this based on the current daily and weekly chart forces fighting against each other. Of course, the daily right now seems to be controlling with this short-term resistance as long as that resistance remains in effect, we can expect that the next swing trade for this stock after a recovery over the last couple of days from here looks like with the resistance, the next meaningful swing trade might be for a pullback. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and 
blessings. E-A-C-S.